Yo guys, what's up? It's Tyler here. I'm back with another Tuesday Night Vape Session, and I have my band with me. The entire band, actually. Which I didn't think was happening. I thought it was just going to be like, I thought you were already home, so. No. But, uh, I called off work for, like, specifically to hang out with you. Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> it was kind of a mission, too. Well, uh, welcome back to another Tuesday Night Vape Session. It's kind of a cramped frame. I'm all the way over here, or over here. <laughs> and then I got Jesse, JT, Todd, which is me right here, and then you all know JJ. So doesn't look as hippie today because he's wearing his guy's uniform. Pizza garb on. Pizza garb. Workflow. Workflow shit. Workflow. <laughs> all right. So uh, reason my whole band's here is JJ has already been vaping for quite a while, and I've been vaping for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Uh, JT over here just got your vape, what, two days ago? He's got the MVP 2.0 Energy Series and with the iClear 16V, and then he also, his girlfriend has the iTaste VV. And then Jesse, right behind me, has the EVOD battery with the Pro Tank. And me and JJ are still rocking our, uh... MVP. MVPs. I'm the only one here without an actual vape or an e-cigarette or anything. Yeah, Todd doesn't have a vape, but he'll have one soon. Well, soon enough. Um, I made a purchase the other day and got a Stingray drip tip, which I'm in love with. It looks really, really nice. It looks really nice and it works really nice. Yeah, it's it feels good in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, compared to uh, the Trident drip tip that came with, that's on the 3D right now. I like it a little bit more. And uh, what are you guys vaping on? What flavors do you have right now? Um, I'm still on beach foam right now. Like sweet tart. I'm getting high on mine. I'm currently vaping Hawk Sauce from Mount Baker Vapor. It's my favorite. I love this shit. Um, Beach Bum though, really, 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 really good. Uh, if you guys want to get the Beach Bum flavor, go to Euphoria Vapor in Middlebrook Heights. Just past the Strongsville exit on 71, on the right side. If you're going north. Not if you're south. going north, not south. <laughs> going north. Um. Assuming most yeah. of you are in Ohio. Yeah, there's they're kind of all over the place. But. You know, if they ever come and want to visit Ohio, I wouldn't want to. Why would you come and visit yeah. Ohio? Right. <laughs> that smells good. Is that sweet hearts? No, that, that smells so fucking good. That smells, good. That smells so good. But yeah, we're just a, a big room of vapors right now. And it's cool and to have my band and vape. I'm, I'm just well, the vapeless vapor. He's a vapeless vapor. He bums everybody else's vape. He's like JJ at the beginning. Yeah. I think that's everyone at the beginning. Though. Kinda. Yeah. Unless you're rich. I mean, yeah. yeah. No one's rich. Um, But, let's see. I got some vape mail yesterday. Actually, I've gotten quite a bit of vape mail in the past few days. Let me gather all this nonsense. So much juice. Yeah, a lot of juice. I have more coming too. Um, so I have Dr. Neptune's Astro Fuel and Blue Raspberry from Olympia Vapor Works that I got in yesterday, which I really, really like. And then I have two flavors from. Mandango juice, green goblin, and strawberry watermelon, which are delicious. And then Monarch sent me two flavors as well to review. I might get them in the frame. And yeah, that's about that's the vape mail I've gotten my left lately. Um, my desk is just covered in juice. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Does yours still taste like that? I mean, I don't know. Shit. Let's try it. Yeah, I feel like it's getting better as time goes by. Yeah. I mean, this is the shit you had in it. 
Like, mm. like so one of our friends <laughs> tried to make <laughs> what THC juice, something like that. Like just e juice laced with THC apparently, and it looks like this, and it is horrid. So you don't do it. Just, just don't. Don't make your own THC juice. Unless you really know what you're doing and you like have the lab and shit to do it. Well, that was like his first attempt, so it's like I'm not gonna hold it against him. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna hold it against him. It was an experiment. Him, but I definitely don't want to try it if that makes sense, because it tasted really bad. I don't know how you vaped on that for so long. Well, yeah. it didn't really. Didn't you say the flowers he was using for the concentrate was already pre-baked flower base? Yeah. So there's already nothing. Not, yeah, it's already like new school. Yeah. Yeah. Vape, 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 vape. Vape, vape. You're weed. vaping like the second generation. <laughs> but uh, much. this this Tuesday night vape session isn't gonna be super super long. Um, but I figured. Get the whole band together. They all wanted to do it. JT actually brought it up about wanting to do this. And it's been a long ass time since I've done a Tuesday night vape session. It was just a blog before that. Or a vlog and then another vape session. And I did the Google Hangout with like Ed and stuff. But yeah, I want to do this more often. It's nice having like the whole band here. So you guys get to see the band. Which if you don't know or haven't heard me shout out my band yet it's called no. Endin Echoes and uh, look us up on Pache Book we're on, we're on Pache Book we're on Cowtube yeah, YouTube, Boomtube we're on the Boomtube um, yeah. we're, on, we're on porn sites the non taken over related the world. to Boomtube is like some really old footage we haven't been posting a whole lot just because we've been you know, training and doing this and that yeah it's before these guys yeah, yeah. I'm still not officially in the band yet, but, you know, it's fun to play. Music, man. Music! JT, how long were you playing the bus before he made you official? Three months? Yeah, he was in the band for three months <laughs> before he was an official in the neck of the drum. Yeah. And then right after he got kicked out again. It was been more. <laughs> a month, a month and a half. Almost two. Almost something like that, man. It's, you, have to be in the, you have to be in purgatory for at least a quarter of a year. Yeah. At three least. months. <laughs> purgatory! <laughs> You're in guitar purgatory. Shit. Anyway, how's your guys' day been? Not bad. How time did you wake up? One for the one I'm day. so <laughs> jealous of you. I woke up about 2 o'clock. Oh. I'm going to get my brother from school. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Wesley. <laughs> he didn't even want to go to school. I didn't want to go to work this morning. Yeah, I, could have sword, I was really hungover. <laughs> I didn't want to go to work this morning. Money, man. Money. No, he has like a week off though, right? It makes the world go round. See you guys. Look at the club. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> White out. I was like, see you guys. <laughs> it's making the camera. When we end this video, we're all gonna do that. Cause you've seen you've seen my videos where I blow into the camera and it goes it's white. Yeah, we gotta all do that and make it white. I'm sure I'm like I'll probably be like the most dense one here. Yeah, of course. You're always the most dense. You've got the power level. How are you drinking? <laughs> Bitch. Eat my shit, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> We were doing that in the car. We were, we were paddling in the car on the way With to straws. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, okay. Ring battles. Ring battles. Oh, fuck that, dude. It has to be, like, perfectly, like, not windy to do that. Yeah, so you can do decent rings, right? Yeah. Um, let's see how the air like, Try not to breathe at me. <laughs> try not to breathe at me, guys. <laughs> you got a draft going this way. Yeah. To the left. To the left, to the left. Looks like you're sucking Casper's dick. Mm. I love this cave one. I don't know if any of you guys saw my first impression yeah, video. Yeah, but. This K fun is a magnificent piece of vapory. No, I'm gonna go get a big bag. You're gonna get so all this awesome. thing. Nigga, don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> don't trip! You don't be a fucking. Okay, so before we end this video and 
no, get onto not talking anymore Before at all. We end it, we well, no, I'm not saying we're ending it now, but let's go through and kind of get <clears throat> like your vaping experience so far, and JP's mm -hmm. and Todd's little bit of vaping experience. He's like the newbie. He's I'm like the new girl. I'm, new <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. <laughs> That's not an insult, man. No, I wanted to fuck Zoe hot. Deschanel for I'm not, I'm not long time. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if you're, if you're <laughs> reading between the lines, maybe, yeah. He's reading between the lines. <laughs> 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 like, can you, can you just, like, truth? No, like, I can't do that. No, I, can't. <laughs> I have to do it this way. Like, so my read between the lines is like, look at the left line. Like, look at the left line. <laughs> I, no, I can't do that. I, can I do don't even know what you can do. I can go west coast. But like, European and that. I can't see European and fingers. Fingers. Like that. Well, yeah. I got stubby, like, small and but I can't even fuck. <laughs> oh. Um, anyway. All right. My so vaping we'll, experience. Let's we'll start with him. It's been cool. Help me quit smoking. Thank God. Who? Yeah. Who? Keeping me not so angry. Because you had a vape before, like. We got yeah. together and started practicing. What? Yeah. What? After you lost that, what made you want to get another one? Um, <laughs> I mean, I actually lost two of those. Just <coughs> be a little ten dollar ones from the tobacco shop. They suck. Um, I don't know. Too much money for cigarettes. That was probably like the ultimate deciding factor for me. Is like, I need to start saving money. Have I started saving money yet? No. I, ha I haven't I haven't <laughs> saved money yet. <laughs> but you will if you aren't me or any other like hobbyist vapor. Um, like me. I, I vape yeah. to vape. He spends I, like I spend eight bucks every two weeks. On juice and an atomizer every once in a while. I haven't bought juice. I buy juice, I just don't need to. I bought the Don Baker vapor stuff. I, I, I just buy an atomizer and an atomizer. Sooner than I should be in the position. I keep the shit out of mind. Well, you also, you kind of heavy smoker and you stop and then you pick up vaping just because it tastes great. It's it does. Fun. Cool. That cloud that's like laid over all your juices and just like hovered there for a second. Tyler, how many bottles of juice do you have? How many? Oh, shit. Versus how many do, do I, you Should use? I count? Yes. Oh, out right. loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty nine. Uh, I have three. I have oh, those aren't good. Three half of one. <laughs> I have twenty nine bottles of juice. That's, that's good. Uh, a good majority of them I still have to review. So, which is why I have so many. I don't want to just vape through all my juice and not have it for a review. I like to spend a lot of time it's with the juice when I first get it. Either A, to let it steep, or B, just to kind of like throw it in my daily rotation and get a good feel for how it tastes, get a good flavor profile so I can come up with a great review for you guys. Um, That's my process. And if I have, if I get it from like Mount Baker Vapor, I usually let it steep for three or four <coughs> days. Um, this one was like a five days steep, and I tried it right out of the box, and it tasted fine, and it tastes even better after letting it steep for a few days. So, I mean, steeping makes everything a little bit better. Usually, companies pre-steep their juice. Like if you order from Zample Box and you get your Zample Box, chances are you won't have to steep your juice because they get the shipment in, and then it sits there, and then it's mailed out to you. So it's got like a month maybe of steep time so you won't really have to steep it um but places like mount baker vapor where they make it fresh for you um i would definitely steep it um i know these two bottles were were made i don't know were made uh specifically to my preferences so i have i think 80 percent vg 20 percent pg and it's six milligram nicotine in both of these so I was able to choose uh, how I wanted these two juices to be for review, and same with this. This is eighty. This is like eighty twenty. Yeah, this one's eighty twenty. No extra flavor shots. 
but a lot of my a lot of my juice is just basically whatever the company makes and I have to send it to me. Alright, Todd, question. I know when it comes to tea, I know it's steeping me, but what does it mean when you steep uh, uh, juice or whatever? When you're steeping juice, like with Mount Baker, for instance, they make it and then immediately ship it to you. So they make it, and it's by the time it gets to you, it's like two or three days old. All the ingredients in it haven't really had time to mature or mix, yeah, ferment or be like well together. So steeping it, just letting it sit, you know, in a dark place, room temperature, um, for a few days will help it like ferment and open up all the flavors. And this, if you get a juice like this, like I don't know if you know how to do this. I'm like curious. This is white flowers. I guess. Um, when you're like smelling these kind, you're gonna wanna like run it through this like twice, so it opens up all like the flavor stuff, mm. and then it, it like opens it more, you know, brings all the. So I, I guess it's a good thing that I I keep my juices where I have them. Um, I have a this little slide door on like, on my dresser that I can close and start the room temperature. Yeah, so that would be perfect. Um, with before, your other juices are pre steeped, but oh, steeping is never an issue. Like, you can steep it as long as you want. It usually just brings out the flavor more. Um, like this Shelby's Mohawk, for instance, I've had it for almost a month now. Just because I, I don't know. It was my favorite for a while. It still is one of my favorites, but it, I have so much more to try and use. And I didn't think this 30 mil. You remember when I bought this? That was a fucking long time ago. Uh, yep, I shot I shot them out. I don't know if I did a review on it yet. Yeah, I did actually. I, I reviewed Chubby's Mohawk. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, steep time definitely something that you should look into if you're ordering from a place that makes your juice fresh before you get it. No, it's not raining today. It's well, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was but now it's not. Yeah, we're about to go skate at North Homestead. So by the time this video is posted, we've already went to North Homestead and skated. But don't be afraid to like message me on Facebook, Instagram, comment below if you want to meet up and skate, dude. Let's do it. Message the band page. Message the band page sure, and the Neckos. We'll all like skate together. Page. Like, like the band, band page. page. Yeah. And the music that comes along with it. Make yeah. love to the band page. When you hard, you gotta do weird things to your man. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to replace your keys. Be like the kid that fucked the hot pocket. <laughs> sort of. Ah, what? what? <laughs> Why would like, you do that? Like it for two minutes and then just. Cause that shit's really, really hot. Yeah. yeah. Let really it cool for a minute. And then you it's too cold. Let it, let it cool for a minute. Pocket, let it cool. And then put your dick in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked. So, so, sounds like you. you Experience. Experimented. <laughs> never. Tried. It sounds never plausible. He's never tried. It. <laughs> He's wink, thought about it. Wink, wink. He's had red <laughs> things about it. There's just something about ham and cheese. That's just Dude, gets me hard. <laughs> <laughs> to, to test it out, you just gotta get fucking pizza rolls and you rip one side open and put it to put the tip in. <laughs> <laughs> How big are your pizza rolls, man? I buy small pizza rolls. Got <laughs> those jumbo ones. Um, all right, <laughs> you gotta get the jumbo, the magnum size. I go to the gas station magnum and get those giant burritos, man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is going. All right, this <laughs> took a turn. Really bad. This took a turn to the wrong side of YouTube. So, um, I made a FDA regulations video. Uh, about the recently proposed FDA regulations, and bullshit. you guys should check it out. They are bullshit. Um, I don't think the uh making it illegal for people under the age of eighteen to buy e-cigarettes is bad. No, I'm all I'm all for cool. that. I'm all for that, and I'm all for putting health, like the health warnings and stuff, on bottles. Mount Baker oh. Vapor does it. Sky Liquids does it. Uh, like does Euphoria? Euphoria should. Um, this so. in vape does. I mean, yeah. some spot, some bottles like uh yeah, Olympus or Olympia yeah. Vapor Works doesn't. But a bottle of juice doesn't even have a label. <laughs> yeah, even <laughs> even our local <laughs> shops bottles say keep away from children. Um, so I'm not against that either. I think health and safety warnings on bottles 
are a must, especially the lock caps, where it, you can't pull them off if you're an idiot. Because if this shit tastes like candy, little kids are just going to be like that. Yeah, and also for pets. I mean, Sky Liquid says, warning, contains nicotine, keep away from children and pets. Because if your pet gets this, it'll kill your dog, or your cat, or your ferret, or your baby, or your baby. But it's not um, like any harmful baby chemicals. Chemicals. It's No, it's just, nicotine, it's just right? from the nicotine, yeah. That's, that's the most harmful chemical in this. The only real chemical in yeah. this. Um, like but the nicotine, vegetable glycerin, and propylene glycol. I, yeah, it, yeah. Um, the uh, the one that's got everybody pissed off and in a stir and frantically like worried about it is the regulation to the application process. In two years, a company, no matter if it's a a mod maker. Uh, RDA maker, a tank maker, a juice maker, like any of these companies, they'll have to fill out a really costly application to have their product on the market, where it ultimately won't even be accepted if it's not up to what the FDA wants. Um, now this damages. <laughs> oh, hey, hey there, it doesn't matter. He's the fourth beetle. He looks like the fourth beetle with the poster behind him. We're just observing the background. Don't mind us. <laughs> yeah, they're just. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um, with that regulation, companies would have to pay an application fee, file an application, and hope and pray that their product gets on the market. At this point in time, we don't know if it's going to be one application per company or if it's going to be one application per product per company. Um. But the fact of the matter is that this is a very expensive and risky or procedure for companies to follow, and it'll definitely damage our industry as a whole if it hasn't already. Um, you can watch a better video than what I'm just talking about right now at Grim Green's channel or at Rip Tripper's channel or Smoking with Twisted 420 or Vaping with Twisted 420, my bad, homie. Um, they all have really, really, really good reviews or really good videos about it. Um, Vaping Greek also has um, interviews with the attorney for the FDA and a few other people on his channel. It's either on his channel or the uh, Vape Team channel. So go check those out. They'll be able to give you some good quality information about it. Um, and while I'm also doing plugins for all these other vapers that I really enjoy, my friend Christy is doing a contest on her Instagram to win a full line of juice from DNA Vapor. So go to her YouTube or her Instagram, but she also has a YouTube, so you can subscribe to her. That I'll put both links in the description. Um, Vaporella on Instagram, she's doing a contest for the full line. So go enter that shit. Um, I haven't. I probably won't enter it, but you guys definitely should and support her because she's a great, great girl. Um, what else do you guys want to talk about now that I've gotten all this shit? I, didn't, I had another question. You said the regulations aren't affecting, they don't go into effect for another two years. The application doesn't. The application thing won't go into effect for two years after this 75 day comment period. So the FDA is giving the public a 75 day comment period to speak our mind about it, then they'll go back, revise it, and then it'll be official. And two years from that day that it becomes official, companies will have to start doing the applications and it will literally destroy the vaping community. How do you fight this? Um there's a petition. There is a petition, it's on my FDA video and I will put it again in the link or the description box below. Go on to it. I'll is that the one you posted on Facebook? Yes, he okay. signed it. It was like a few days ago. Um sign that spread the word, spread that petition, um, make a video, even if you're not a YouTuber, you don't need to be, just make a video talking about why this is bad, tell your friends, tell your local vape shop, get people informed about this, because it's, as long as we stand up as a whole and fight this as a community, it will work out to our benefit. Um, we have to be one solid voice and one solid community and really just work together on getting what we need to get done. Um, any other questions? Well. Just a comment, really, like you said about trying to represent the vape community. Don't be an asshole, because yeah. you could have a hundred of the greatest people ever, but if you have one dickhead, people are going to focus on one. Right. Body. 
and and it, it kind of goes towards like when all these states were late were raising legislation against vaping. You want to be respectful. You don't want to call them like you're a fucking asshole or da 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 da. da. You just be respectful. Be polite. Don't be overly be retarded. Be, be intelligent. Be know your facts. Adult. Yeah, be a responsible yeah. adult with this. I mean, if we, if we go in there acting irresponsible and um acting like fucking idiots. Yeah, acting like idiots. That's not going to be good for us. We want to show them that we are just like any other per any other group of people in that our community is just as good as say some some community that plays basketball, you know? So be respectful, be polite, but fight with <laughs> fight with this undying feeling that you just want our industry to thrive. Now, before Rip Trippers and Grim Green had said be polite and generous, and yes, we should still be that way and still be nice and you know respectful, but at the same time we have to fight and we ha we can't be pushovers. We can't just let the government push us around. So that's the biggest thing. Try to find your happy medium between being an asshole and being respectful. Don't let the man take control, man. Spence, come in. Yes, your brother. Yeah. Yo. Welcome to you another you wanna, uh, Oh, bring Annabelle over here. Annabelle! Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright guys, um, I filmed a review for one of the Sky Liquid Juices that I haven't had a chance to post yet, but uh, I introduced you guys to Annabelle, which is my 11 year old Chihuahua Rat Terrier. Hi Anna Banana. Wait. She's uh, she's got two weeks left to live. So, if you when you see that video, um, I had not known about this at that point. Um, I found out Saturday. She has two weeks left to live, so Saturday the 10th, uh, we have to put her down. Uh, she has cancer, and it's inoperable, and she also has heartwarmers, level 5 heartwarmers. So, if I seem a little bit distant in my videos, or I don't seem as personable, or I'm not uploading as frequently throughout these next two weeks, that will be the reason. Um, like I said, I've had this dog for 11 years, and she's been the one solid thing that I've had throughout these 11 years, like moving through the United States and different places. And it's gonna be really difficult to let her go, but she's going to, she's, she's going to a much better place than this earth. Um, so yeah, if I don't seem as stoked about making videos, or if I don't upload as frequently th throughout these next two weeks. That will be the reason why. Um, but y'all get to meet her and say hello to her. She's a she's a love bug. I love her to death. Free shower included. Yeah, free shower included. <laughs> every time you see her. But uh, yeah, this is my doggy Annabelle. And uh, figured I'd bring her on for right now. And she'll also be in that review video that I'm gonna be posting. I'm gonna just chill here for the the time. Okay. Uh, I hate it. Which I think it's ridiculous. You can't smoke anywhere, but if you can legally smoke a cigarette. Yeah, you can't oh, vape yeah, anywhere. If your car is being leased, you cannot vape in it. If you're renting an apartment, you cannot vape in it. You cannot vape in public places like public parks or restaurants or so like, 20 mean, feet from a I mean, restaurant or place that doesn't allow smoking. Like anybody would really notice though. I mean, the smell would just smell like you're... It dissipates. Like, have a, it's like a, it's like a candle lit in your living room. <laughs> right. If we were smoking, smoking rather than vaping right now, this room would be clouded so hard. And, and it smell would like reek of yeah. cigarettes. Me and Erica, we, 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 we made like a little dome tent in the bed last night and faked it out with the vaporizers and it, it just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I wonder what happened after that bake out. Bake <laughs> <laughs> out to make out to. No, I'm not going to. Don't want to think Something about. else now. Wake <laughs> up. All the clothes out. <laughs> Yeah. Hot pockets. No, hot pockets. <laughs> Last, I, I didn't get the bed until like five in the morning. You guys just passed Why? out. And I, I, was, I don't know. I was just, just, just playing gaming. gaming. Was Look gaming. at Annabelle. <laughs> Look at her on the on the computer. She's just. What are you making fun of me? 
Mm. It, maybe the cat shirt is pretty Um, bad. I should end this, though. We're going a half hour. Yeah, that could be about 15. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I gotta pick Eric up in like 15 minutes. Alright. Alright, guys. So, this was a pretty, uh, shaky, not as organized vape sesh with my band. Is there any such thing as an organized vape session? No. I've seen a few years. No. This no is that, not as organized as they get it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You're talking about sex in the first one? Yeah. Well, in well, this one as well. Probably yeah. All yeah. And pr probably all of them. Well, and, and like hot pocket sex. Yeah, <laughs> hot pocket hot sex. Hot pocket sex. Hot hot pocket sex um, vape sex. Weird dog sex. But this is Tuesday Night <laughs> Vape <laughs> Session. <laughs> this is my band. <laughs> we are a big, funky, weird group of people and the Neckos. Yeah, it's, like it's like that's the that. okay, I can't <laughs> Yeah, Todd's kinda got it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I already called true shipping dude. Yeah I did ask. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna take off. I gotta go do some <laughs> shit. We'll see you later. Thanks for uh, watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good time. Let's all blow, <laughs> blow vape clouds into the computer screen. <laughs>